All right, welcome to another edition of Pit Panther Talk here on Pittsburgh Sports Live. Mike Vakovkan along with Alan Saunders, and we're here today. We were talking yesterday, Alan, on Valentine's Day, and now we actually have some news today in regards to uh, the Pitt football team. Yesterday it was basketball, today it's football, and uh, the last opening on Pat Narduzzi's staff was filled today, uh, reportedly, with uh, the hiring of uh, new wide receivers coach Brennan Marion. He's a guy you're familiar with. I've uh, expressed my opinion as far as uh, what they need to get out of this guy, aside from a good wide receivers coach, some other things in terms of recruiting. Uh, for all the Pitt uh, fans, he is from Western Pennsylvania, but for the Pitt fans who aren't familiar with uh, Brennan, what, uh, what type of uh, person and coach did uh, Pitt just get today? Well, first of all, I mean, I've always had good interactions with him as a coach. He uh, recruited in Western Pennsylvania for a number of years at a couple of stops, and that's how I got to know him. And uh, you know, a, a great offensive mind. I think, uh, you know, you can read um, a couple – there's a couple of stories circulating out there about his go-go offense. Uh, it's dynamic. Uh, he developed it himself coaching at high school in Central Pennsylvania, uh, and he's taking it to the college level at Howard and at William and Mary. Uh, you saw Hawaii do some of those things last year. You've also seen a ton of other schools and teams, even to the NFL level, uh, copycatting some of his concepts. Uh, and so it's uh, clearly, a, you know, he knows what he's talking about when it comes to running an offense. And then also a very good recruiter. He's he recruited a number of players out of Western Pennsylvania to Howard and William and Mary, when those are not schools that have traditionally had a big impact in this area, including Hollis Mathis, who is still the starting quarterback at William and Mary was, was Brendan Marion's recruit. And so I think, you know, local guy, um, really, really smart offensive mind, good recruiter, seems to check all the boxes anyone could possibly have for this hire. Uh, and he's young. Uh, the Narduzzi's last two, I think we've expressed in the past how the staff was, I, I wouldn't say it was old, but it, it, it could have used some youth and they've done that with their last two hires. Uh, the thing that stands out to me is the day high, and I've already, uh, articles are already circulating about him. Did they hire a guy that down the road, you know, you don't want to put too much pressure. He's coming here as the wide receivers coach, but this guy looks like a, uh, I think an article I just read, the title was uh, Brennan Marion will soon be a power five offensive coordinator, uh, not in the next year. But is this, is this where this guy is leaded as far as his uh, ability to, uh, to run offenses? Is, is this guy we're looking at as a uh, offensive coordinator, if not here at Pitt, uh, someplace else? He will. Be, I believe he'll be an offensive coordinator at at least the power five level. Um, he could be an NFL coach, I think, but I, I think – you know, his recruiting ability is going to keep him valuable at the college level for a while. But, like, yeah, I mean, I, this is clearly a hire with upside. This is not a guy who's going to come in here and you know, he's never coached. He, he coached for one season as a GA at Arizona State. So he doesn't have a lot of experience at this level. But he's a really, really talented coach that uh, I think a lot of people that, that know the coaching business and the coaching industry think is really going places and, and it's kind of – destined to, to do some big things and uh, maybe that'll happen at Pitt. Maybe it won't, but uh, I think it's, it's a different kind of hire, right? When they hired Chris Beatty, you know, he was a been there, done that guy. He had had the job that he was going to be doing at Pitt for a very long time. I think he did an excellent job. Uh, this is different. This is a guy that's not had this job before, but has a ton of potential to be not just a good wide receivers coach at this level, but maybe more. Is this guy, uh, what I'm interested in, um, aside from Western Pennsylvania's ties here, is he going to be a maniac on the recruiting trail? Is he a, uh, with his youth, you would think that his first uh, power five job, he will uh, be relentless on the recruiting trail. Is that uh, accurate? Yeah. I mean, I, I think he's a very good recruiter. Uh, he, you know, when you recruit for kind of bottom of the barrel FCS team like Howard you really have to search far and wide for kids and I think he did a really really good job of that there obviously he'll be able to be a little more picky at a place like Pitt and then the other thing is you know he was born in Hampton Virginia and so you know, even though he did go to high school in western Pennsylvania he still has those ties to the Virginia area having grown up there 
having coached at Howard in, in DC and, and at William and Mary down in Williamsburg. And so if you're looking for someone to replace Chris Beatty in that Virginia recruiting area, seems like a pretty natural fit there as well. And so it really is, uh, I said it the day one that it was announced that Chris Beatty was leaving, that this would be the hire I would make. I think it makes all the sense in the world. And, uh, and it really, it, it fits in every way possible. All right, Alan, good stuff. We appreciate it. And I'm sure as soon as Pitt uh, makes the hire official, whenever that happens, hopefully he becomes uh, available to the media and we uh, get to talk to him. But uh, we appreciate the insights. And uh, what are you working on at Steelers now? Anything, uh, anything promotable? Just put up a story about uh, comparing Marquise Pouncey's Hall of Fame credentials to the other seven, six or seven uh, modern era centers that have uh, made it into Canton. And I think I like his chances, but he might have to wait a while. And then uh, a bunch of stuff on just free agency in the draft, getting ready for all of that as we come up to just about a month now before the start of the, uh, the contact period for free agency. Should be actually exactly a month from today. And then um, we got pro days that are starting to trickle in. Clemson's was last week. I think there's a couple this week. More as we get into March. Um, and that's pretty much it. We got the Pens tomorrow night and uh, Pitt basketball back in action Wednesday afternoon at the Pete. All right, Alan, appreciate the time. And once again, Pitt's uh, reportedly their new wide receivers coach, Brennan Marion. That's the big story of the day. For Alan Saunders, I'm Mike Pekovkan. Until next time, so long, everyone.